Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I am very happy to introduce this priest to you all. This is Father Soji Olikel from United Kingdom. He is the pastor of a, a, a parish in the Archdiocese of Birmingham. He is fully committed for the evangelization works. This is Father Saju. He is from India. He is a close co-worker of me. Uh, he is co-worker with me. And he is also take a full-time commitment to preach the word of God. We three are uh, uh, fully immersed in the work of salvation of souls. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We are here. We are doing this ministry of thunder of God only for the salvation of souls. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are going to think about the salvation of souls. We have to work hard for the salvation of souls. So now let us worship our God for some time and let us uh, prepare ourselves to hear the word of God. If possible, please stand up and do the praise and worship. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in Him, and be glad in Him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. What a mighty God we serve. The Lord has made, that the Lord has made. 
day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We worship the Lord in glory. We give you the glory. Holy Spirit, <coughs> Spirit of God, we bring before you all those who are attending this program. Holy Spirit, fall afresh on us all, O Holy Spirit. Come to us, O Holy Spirit. Fall upon us, O Holy Spirit. Make us new, O Holy Spirit. We need your grace, O Holy Spirit. We pray, we pray, come, make us new, O oh, Holy Spirit, we pray. Come, Holy Spirit, fall afresh on us, fill us with your power, satisfy our needs. Holy Spirit. Only you can make us whole. Give us strength to make us whole. Come, Holy Spirit. Fall afresh on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, please intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord, the Lord is, with is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, years ago, in 1994, when I was ordained as a priest, I was fully happy to be a priest. As a pastor of a parish, I did my work wonderfully and I was very happy with my priestly life. Day after day, something was there, something hurt me. There was some pain. I didn't know why this pain. Some kind of restlessness. Everything was there. I was very successful as a pastor in my parish. And I was a very, a very active, I was doing everything nicely. Lord blessed me everywhere where I went, everything was okay. But again, even though 
everything went well i was the pain was growing in my mind slowly i came to understand that my heavenly father wants something else from me after much prayer holy spirit gave me a passage from old testament let us read from our bible so when you attend thunder of god ministry so please keep a bible with you when i say a quotation please take the take your bible go through the bible and please read together with this team praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so let us read together book of haggai chapter 1 verses 3 and 4 then the word of the lord came by the prophet haggai saying is it a time for you yourselves to live in your paneled houses while this house lies in ruins yes is this the time for yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses while the house of the lord is in ruin i didn't understand the meaning of this word slowly the coming words also gave me some revelations you have sown much and harvested little you eat but you never have enough you drink but you never have your fill you clothe yourselves but no one is warm and you that earn wages earn wages to put them into a bag with holes yes this was the state of my people in my parish they were all hard working people they were very good very good uh, people they did everything to uh, have a, a good life there after all there are many many problems in their family life in their social life in the parish everywhere there is some kind of some kind of problem something uh, haunted them personally each and every one of them very good but they lack something and uh, holy spirit gave me a revelation that each and every christian is duty bound to proclaim word of god each and every christian is duty bound to do the works of salvation salvation of souls we have to work for the salvation of souls as a priest i have a greater responsibility i had a greater responsibility to do the salvation uh, the work of the salvation for, for uh, salvation of the souls so also every christian is duty bound to proclaim the gospel to proclaim the word of god to to, to do the ministry of the salvation of souls it will bring great prosperity it will bring great holiness to our lives it will bring great peace to our lives to our families to our parishes there started the ministry of evangelization in my life at that till that time i was very happy i was content with my uh, little circumstances and uh, i was going like a worldly man finding pleasure with all kinds of uh, normal life but slowly slowly holy spirit reveal the destruction of souls and also there are so many teachings in the holy bible the urgency of the works for the salvation of souls praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 in the beginning i and my people in my parish were thinking like this we have to correct ourselves we have to be holy we have to be gentle we have to be good and we have to be very gen very very upright people that's all we never 
we never considered it is uh, it as our duty to make others holy it is their duty if they are uh, if they want let, let them be holy let them have their own let them, let them take their own responsibility that was the uh, uh, that was the uh, thinking pattern of my people and myself praise the lord praise the lord but slowly holy spirit took us to the book of ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6 But if the sentinel sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet so that the people are not warned and the sword comes and takes any of them they are taken away in their iniquity but their blood I will require at the sentinel's hand Yes Lord our God made us the guardian of other people we have to protect our fellow men we have to work for the salvation of their souls if we are not doing that we will be responsible for their blood we will be in charge of their sins we have to go and speak with other people about the salvation about the eternal life about heaven about hell they are free to accept us or to reject us but we are duty bound to go and preach we are duty bound to go and tell for their salvation and also for our own salvation also praise the lord praise the lord it is a matter of our own salvation too hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. sometime they may reject us don't worry ezekiel 33 verse 9 says if you go and preach if you go and tell your uh, neighbors you are uh, your family members were uh, whom whomever god entrust you if you say your duty is over then it is their responsibility to uh, hear it or not praise the lord praise the lord if they hear it it is uh, it will be good for them if they reject it it is, it is their responsibility but one thing is clearly stated that if you do not say these things to others if you do not work for the salvation of soul your soul is in perish your soul is in 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 danger but if you say then you are you are in a safe position praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 epistle of saint james chapter 5 verse 19 and 20 my brothers and sisters if any one among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins yes it is that much tremendous influence that much tremendous power it will cover a multitude of sins work for the salvation of souls are we doing that what do we do with our life simply enjoying worldly things going hither and thither going here and there doing this and that we are day by day we are lo- we are we are uh, we are losing our life our time our wealth our and all our resources are given to us in order to work for the salvation of souls we have we we, we must have a pain in our heart book of nehemiah chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 nehemiah 
chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 the words of nehemiah son of hakaliah in the month of kislev in the 20th year while i was in susa the capital one of my brothers hanani came with certain men from juda and i asked them about the jews that survived those who had escaped the captivity and about jerusalem they replied the survivors there in the province who escaped captivity are in great trouble and shame the wall of jerusalem is broken down and its gates have been destroyed by fire when i heard these words i sat down and wept and mourned for days fasting and praying before the god of heaven yes for days and days he observed fasting and prayer he mourned for days and days he sat and wept hearing the, the sad the pitiable condition of the people days after day he became sad again and again he became sad he was in bitter pain and uh, he was uh, he was a uh, Uh, he was supposed to serve the king in his dining nahamaya chapter 2 verses 2 and 3 so the king said to me why is your face sad since you are not sick this can only be sadness of the heart then i was very much afraid i said to the king may the king live forever why should my face not be sad when the city the place of my ancestors graves lies waste and its gates have been destroyed by fire praise the lord praise, praise the, lord. the lord hallelujah hallelujah so nahamaya was bearing bitterness sadness there was a pain in his heart about his people about the people of god about the temple of god because it was it was it was like waste like a, like a waste it was destroyed so we also must have a pain in our hearts about the losing souls losing souls matthew chapter 18 verse 14 so it is not the will of your father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now let us pray to get the spirit of evangelization. The only mission that Jesus entrusted the church is go and preach the gospel. We have to do to the we have to do the works of evangelization. We are duty bound to do the works work of the salvation of souls let us pray for a new anointing please stand up and let us pray together hallelujah 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 Holy my Spirit. heart burn with love with love for my lord Holy Spirit Holy Spirit let thy mighty power flow and set me free oh, let my my heart heart burn with love with Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah.
വി ആർ ഓൾ ബിഫോർ യു വി നീഡ് യുവർ ഗ്രേസ് നൗ വി ബ്രിങ് ഓൾ ദോസ് ഹു ആർ സഫറിംഗ് ഫ്രം സിക്നസ് Book of Sirah, chapter 38, verse 9. Behold, my son, when you are sick, do not be negligent. Pray to the Lord. The Lord will heal you. The peace of St. James, chapter 5, verse 13. If he is anyone to suffering let him pray he is anyone cheerful let him praise a piece of st james chapter 5 verse 15 the prayer of faith will save the sick man the lord will raise him up if he has committed any sin it will be forgiven Lord we believe in this words now we need your healing we bring all those who are suffering with sickness before you right now stretch out your hands touch each and every one of every one those who are suffering from ailments those who are undergoing much pain heal us oh lord heal us oh lord now let us pray when our lord is healing thousands and thousands now let us raise up our hands and receive the benediction receive the blessing now let us praise together hallelujah 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 we now oh lord heal me now oh for my the mighty name jesus hallelujah and he jesus jesus heal me wash me heal me o lord and he help me heal me o lord hallelujah wash me 